Okay, welcome back. So today, what we'll be doing, uh, we'll be picking up from our last video. If you haven't seen the last video, it will be linked below. But just quickly, what we'll do is we're wanna we're wanting to get all of our the people that we're following photos. So we have these different structures set up. So what we'll be doing is first going to under our following table and find all the people that I'm following. Then what we'll do is we'll get the user's information which includes their profile photo and username. And then with that information, we'll go to photos and we'll grab all of their photos. All right, so let's jump right into Xcode. Okay, so we're here in Xcode. And as you see, I have a empty UI view controller class that we're going to use. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're going to want to import Firebase because we are using a Firebase database. And then let's create a reference to our Firebase database. There we go. So now we have our Firebase database reference. And in the view did low, we're gonna just initialize this, okay? Now we just wanna make sure that we're logged in. Now we could just make sure, just put a print statement here that you can remember to uh, delete. All right, so now what we need to do is let's just think about this. We want to be able to, one, get all of our all the people that we're following. So if we go back to this table, we want to get all of these folks and then loop through these folks to get their profile information from users and their photos, right? So we know we want to do that. Let's just create maybe just an empty method for getting that. Of course, this is yelling at us because it doesn't know what this is. So let's go ahead and just create this down here. Okay, so let's think about what we want to do. Maybe print a statement here if we're not logged in. I don't want it just to sit there, so print. So now we have to get a reference to that location. So I'm just gonna pop over back into Firebase. So it's following me following. That's the structure we need to get to. So let's go ahead and just do that in here. So we're gonna say let following reference so a reference to the following location in our database equal database the reference dot child and we know the entire path now i'm actually going to do something a little bit different let's say let user id equal me because i'm not using in my database i'm not actually using um my structure isn't using the, the actual generated user id so this will help you guys so that way you'll know what to use. So instead of, this is in substitute. So here you'll actually put your user ID. So the item you got here, so this, control C. And that's just because, this is only because I'm not doing it, I'm not storing it by user ID. So I'm gonna go following, right? So we know that it's in the following table and a child path is going to be the user ID, so me. And then under that, we have another child path, which is called following, which I probably, I didn't need to do that that many times, but I did. So following with the capital F, me, that'll be my user, my user ID, and then under that following. Okay, so now that I have a reference to the following table, what I want to do is just observe a single event. And that's just basically saying I'm going to get all of the people, or all of the items within that folder. So it's going to be of type value. Um, and I'm going to get a snapshot. Let's call it following snap shot. Okay. And then we're just going to just handle this. So if I get an error, just print the error in our snapshot, all of the people that we're following. So let's go ahead and store that into a dictionary. Okay, so now we have a dictionary of all the people that we're following. And let's just print that out. Okay, so see, we have two um, items in our dictionary. And if we go to Firebase, we have two, just as expected. All right, so let's keep going. Um, now the next thing we want to do, since we have all our followers, we want to loop through those followers and grab all of our 
um, their information. So let's get their profile information. Or And what we want to do is we want to get a dictionary. So we want, let's say, let's call it dict. And we want, it's going to be string type, string value. Okay. So we're going to pass in this dictionary, when we call it. And then we're just going to loop through that and we're going to get all of our information. Okay, so let's say now we have to basically get a reference to their profile. So let's go ahead and do that. We, that's the same thing we did for the following. So we're just going to say profile reference is equal to database reference dot child path. Let's go back to Firebase to find our path. It's going to be user and then their username. We want to do the observe again. So we want to get a one-time shot of their profile. So let's do that. Okay, so in the code, we're going to want to save this to another dictionary. So now we have another dictionary. What we want to do is we want to get their profile photo. So, okay, so if I'm just gonna pop right back over to Firebase, and as you see, I'm trying to get this string. So I'm going from users to the user that is in my dictionary, and I'm finding their user photo. Now that we have our user, what we want to do is we also want to get all of the user's pictures. So let's go ahead and do that. Our Firebase database, here we have photo, we have the user ID, and then within there is gonna be all of our photos. So we're gonna go to photo um, dot child reference, and then we're just gonna say the user ID, right? that we got here. So we're using this user ID again to get all of their photos because that's how we're storing them in our fire database. So now that we have that, of course, what we want to do now is pull back all this information. Now, at this point, what we want to do is store it into, a, as you know, another dictionary. So let's just print it out for the time being. So we're just going to loop through our dictionary. So for everything that's in our photos post dictionary, what I want to do, see what's going on. I want to just print everything. Print our username. I want to go ahead and print our profile, print the ID and the post. So I'm just gonna run this. Okay, so we just have this, we haven't done anything with the UI here. I just have this label that says hi, but that's just so we can see how we're doing. Ah, so I made this and I didn't even call it. So I'm just gonna call it here, get users information. I'm gonna pass in my dictionary, which is going to be in string, because I didn't, so let me go ahead and run that again. All right, so let's look at our, what we have here. Okay, so I'm getting a username of her. This indeed is her profile image. It's all of this, all of this. And then she has a photo three, the URL for the photo. She has another post here, which has her profile photo again, and a new photo, so photo ID here her photo three, and as you see, um, there's some items here for you. I have your photo, um, and here's a post from you, here's another post from you, and here's a third post from you. So if we go back to Firebase, we'll see that we're getting everything that we need. So here, she has four photos, you have three, we're getting your information, we're getting your profile photo. So that's all we really need to do the basic structure or the basic UI uh, that we spoke about in the last video. Uh, our next video we'll be doing is we'll be taking this information and we'll be populated into the view. Uh, I hope this was helpful and I will see you guys in next video.